when the asteroid hit. Billions were gone in the blink of an eye. Tribes rose up. Alliances formed. Territory was conquered. There was no one left alive to tell you no. And in this wild, wide open place, if you wanted something bad enough, it was yours for the taking. You see, in a world where there are no rules, insanity rules. us. All of you venerate savagery. And you will die savagely. Get out here! Stay strong. Stay with me. You have to love yourself.
bring him on! こそ、あの黒い<笑> Making a demo is always a challenge, we know that by now. Our goal is to show as much diversity as possible, diversity of our gameplay features and cultural aspects as well. For these purposes, and also to introduce and explain our mechanics, we are creating a completely new questline. So let's jump back to November when our work began. Our narration team comes up with a story of a missing person. Depends on the kind of job that you're offering. My husband. Harry Evans has disappeared. Rich, Poor, the Harbor Zone and the others. At first, the plan was to put together a small separate map just for GDC, but we quickly realized we didn't want to make something we would never use in the future. But it's like in those small details that make a city feel alive. To negate that, we decide to border off the gameplay area and spice it up a little, add points of interest, vehicles, landmarks and of course our monoliths. So now we have a more or less finished and polished part of the map that we can use in our final product. Things are going smoothly. Obviously, different bugs and glitches keep popping up like crazy. Sometimes the hero wears two hats, sometimes a floating object stops being floaty, and don't get me started on strange collisions. But we always manage to fix them in no time. However, there is one big problem that we have struggled to sort out for months – lighting. In our previous demo, we used static light maps and baked them into the textures. That was a difficult and resource-draining process, so in our game we eventually decided to switch to dynamic lighting. It works great, yet we still cannot pinpoint the right tone and colors that we want to use in the sinking city. To solve that problem, we reach out to professional photo artists in Kyiv. They help our team find the right color scheme, inspired by the works of Caspar David Friedrich, James McNeil Whistler, Gregory Crutzan, and other prominent masters in their fields. 
There is something else that requires a lot of effort to produce. Our intro cutscene is supposed to be the very first thing that people will see. Obviously, we want to make it look impressive and true to our source of inspiration Lovecraft. Our cinematic artists decide to start the cutscene in the water, slowly emerging to show the city. The sea and its destructive influence are one of the main things. Site, and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing. It was an interesting course, the the, 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 the path to Spider-Man for me. Three-ish, a huge franchise, for, you know, the hugest media company in the world. So I, I, I tried not to put too much into it because I can do the, the, the acting stuff and the conversation stuff and the, the non, you know, uh, jumpy, swingy stuff. And then when that stuff happens, Ross and Seth get called in and they... It's all about feeling like Spider-Man. Our Spider-Man is obviously more experienced Spider-Man. He's not just learning how to swing. And like switch between them pretty quickly. One of the biggest reasons we at Insomniac connect with Spider-Man and with delivering that fantasy of I'm swinging through this concrete jungle gym of New York City and I'm doing it with speed, style, flow, fluidity. It's all come together from like prototype space to now you really get that sense of speed with the visual effects that are there. It was a great challenge for us to take who we are, what we know, and just branch out even further. As it's ahead of you, or you can actually steer it to do quick turns, um, and they attach to buildings as well and pull you in a particular direction. The button press near the top of the building will kind of catapult you over. It doesn't make sense that you would just be stuck up there waiting to fall, right? You're Spider-Man, and so you can actually sort of throw a line down, get get a pull down into the building line. Yeah, so yeah. the L3 button actually sends you to a, a free fall dive, and that's one of the ways to get a lot of momentum pretty quickly. Lovely flowers, your compassion may grow. You get them weapons ready! Find one! Leave me alone! Who are you? Stay back! No, run! Burn it! Boys! Over there! See! Where'd he go? Untie your bonds, my child. Unlearn your past. Embrace your new nature. Once more, be reborn. 
The vigor in their blood is all you need. We will crush this beast! Crush the leech, boys! <laughs> Submit to your hunger or resist it. But remember, mortals are now your prey. And you, my child, their mortal enemy. It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will. How scarce is ammunition? Because I see him switching uh, from a bunch of weapons, and I, when we saw this demo, when I when I came in and saw day three, one of the things that I that I really enjoyed was I was sitting next to you, and the driver was playing the game, and at some point I saw you shift in your chair and you leaned forward, and I heard you say, "Oh man, uh oh," and I'm like, "Whoa, what's going on?" He's like, "He's gonna get killed." Oh, I'm right. like, "Whoa, oh," <laughs> and I I, and I leaned forward. I was like, "Oh, I guess there's some real danger." And one of the things was that he was running out of ammunition, um, and he was trying to go pick up ammo yes. from the dead. Uh, he was looking for ammo. Marauders, yeah. but but and he I've was seen, under fire. So when we were so. in E3, we had a whole team with us, and everybody played it slightly differently. So it just shows you that it's not scripted at all. Yeah. Um, and then
Demons are coming. Cut her down. She's one of them. Lev. your backs. I still don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. No way he'd throw all that away for us. What's his name anyway? Cloud Strife. And he says it's former soldier. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional.
Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language. Your traditions. Your beliefs. Which villages to tame and wish to burn? So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? <laughs> 